The lights are starting to come back on after that explosion at a smud power substation on Tuesday. But many businesses in Old Sacramento still do not have power tonight, just days before Christmas. ABC 10's Giacomo Luca is talking to concerned business owners right now. Businesses along the Old Sacramento waterfront went dark three days ago. With no power, most businesses stayed closed and a handful are making do. Are open for a unique shopping experience. Evangeline's costumes are using flashlights to help stay open, but the area's typically busy boardwalk was nearly empty Thursday. Sales just, you know, tanked. Foot traffic down here, nobody, nobody's coming down right now. John Evans recently opened his boutique store, The Warehouse Creative. He stayed open this week, but is struggling. December's typically one of the busiest and most critical months for retailers. Mohammed Hamid was forced to close his business, a sunglass shop, and is urging folks to shop local. When the power comes on, I think it's a must do. Some are doing just that. Uh, it was nice. Everybody's really accommodating. Like they have Cash App and Venmo that we've been using. Still gonna stick I'm around. still going to shop. I'm still going to stick around. I'm still going to support the local businesses. So we'll see what we get today. Hopefully some. Well, Smudge says they expect to return power to all impacted customers by tomorrow. Meanwhile, tonight we are taking a closer look at the substation at the center of all of this. In a report from years ago, SMUD declared the substation was, quote, nearing the end of its useful life. New tonight, ABC 10's Brandon Vidman is investigating what is being done to make sure this never happens again. Since the fire, a lot's been made of this 2015 report from SMUD about the need to replace this historic substation you see back here. The building, the brick building with the fire damage on it actually dates back to the late 1800s, but the electrical equipment in the foreground, not quite that old. It dates back to the 1950s, but SMUD did find that this equipment really needs to be replaced or it's at risk of failing. We don't know if that's tied up in the cause of the fire. It's still under investigation, but I can tell you right across this alleyway, if you look at this big concrete wall, that is the new substation. SMUD said it needed more space. It couldn't take the old stuff on, offline and replace it in place. They had to expand, and that's what this is. The wall is meant to hide the new guts of the new substation. You can see these crews working on it right now. All that conduit rising out of the ground is meant to conceal uh, and protect the electricity that's going to be running between the various components. As I mentioned, SMUD has not yet determined if the age of the old components was a factor in the fire that knocked out power to so much of downtown. It's still under investigation. They haven't ruled out other causes like animals getting into the equipment either. We're just going to have to wait and see what the report finds. But eventually, the plan is to have the equipment here upgraded to something a bit more modern.